No Rest of the Wicked is a new Souls-like top-down action RPG made by Moon Studios, who are the creators of Ori and the Blind Forest and The Will of the Wisps. The Souls games in Ori are some of my favorite games of all time, so I knew I had to hop into this. This game is currently early access and purchasable on the Steam store for $39.99. I was definitely interested in it. I really like, you know, I like Souls-like games, obviously, and I love Ori and the Blind Forest, which Moon Studios made Ori and the Blind Forest, and that's also the studio that made this game. I can't imagine how these games are in any way comparable, but I'm hoping, you know, based on what they were able to accomplish with Ori, two things that really stand out, the music of that game is the best soundtrack of all time. And the visuals were absolutely mind-blowing. So if they can nail the visuals and the music soundtrack in this game, I will be happy boy. So right off the rip, I can choose either create new character or realms. Selecting realms seems to also throw me into a character creation screen. So I don't really understand what the difference is here, but let's go to create a character. Uh, first impression, the characters look very odd. Their heads are too long. Their torsos are too long. Their arms are too long and too big. The character models look really strange. It definitely looks really weird. Well, maybe this is tied to the story in some way. Okay. Oh. I just, it looks so bad. You know, character creation is not a, a big thing for me, but I do know a lot of other people care about character creation. And I gotta say, this is like, I mean, I guess there's a decent amount of options, but the options are all just kind of achy. Mouth position. I don't know if that really matters with the beard, jaw, doesn't matter, except changes. All right, here we go. Select a realm. Ashgard. Their cutscenes look good. Okay. Wow. Just moving is extremely slow. Oh, the dash is fast though. We have a health bar, we have a stamina bar. You know, the stamina bar is kind of hard to see. Especially if like there was objects in the way. Okay, I can punch. Okay, whole inventory system. Oh, there's a weight system down at the bottom. Looks like I'm in the fast category currently. Stats. Okay, so it does have a stat system very similar to Dark Souls. I can't get to the ladder anymore. Blood Rusted Sword. Got it. Blood Rusted Sword. One handed straight sword. Seven damage. Uh, scales with strength. Attack enemies with X. Deal bonus damage by holding X for a charge attack. Evade attacks by tapping A. Okay. It also seems to be a lock on. Okay, it's my dash attack. Charge. Nice. Heavy as nuts. Okay, we're gonna be doing a lot of heavy swings. Oh, I got a shield. Shield. Boom. Ready a shield and block an enemy attacks. Reduce damage received. LB. Reduce damage or eliminate it? Okay, wants me to hold ready on my shield. Okay, I did still take damage from that. Oh, okay, he just attacked me while I was attacking him, so... Stagger is certainly not happening from this sword. Stagger an enemy to briefly lower their guard. Weapons deal poise damage, increasing the white poise meter above the enemy. Once full, the enemy is staggered. Alternatively, LT parry just before an enemy attack lands to instantly stagger them. Okay, there's parrying. They're backstabbing. Oh, I don't know. I might not be able to sneak. I'm not seeing this white bar they were talking about. Oof. Okay. Well, that worked. Okay. Because just looking at plates. A little laggy. Oh, look at this axe. Oh, I'm so lucky he missed. 
Dude, this guy's tanky, dude. One, two. Piece of cake. And I can't really see what's happening in these cutscenes. I think our ship just slammed against the rocks. Okay, this cutscene is sick. I don't know what this is, but this is really cool looking. Is there a map or something? I can place markers. Okay. Can we so fog of war? The map reveals your path throughout Isola. However, the world is constantly shifting, so this path will gradually fade over time. Revisit these shrouded regions to discover new dangers and loot. The world is constantly shifting, so this path will gradually fade over time. Interesting. So the map changes. Oh, something's a thing. They're already ahead of New World. Press Y to pick up Horseshoe Crab. Oh! Copper Woodcutter's Axe. You've obtained a tool. This allows you to harvest new resources. Is it also a weapon? Doesn't look like it. Let's try cutting down that tree. Okay. Why? Requires axe. The impact of everything feels great. Picked up two pine wood from that. Also, this map seems very large. It certainly drowned. <laughs> Wait, uh, what's this guy got? Oh, he's got a weapon. Yeah, I would have just taken the extra two steps there. So this is the sword we were using before. We're back to normal weight already. Okay, let's try cooking. Press Y to cook at the fire pit. So the only thing I can make at the moment is mushroom soup, which instantly restores 35 health. Okay, so we'll cook both those. We now have six of these. Oh, oh dude, I just his legs straight off. my magic. Oh, I don't have enough yet. I don't know how I'm feeling about the heavy attacks. No! No, I did not attack a third time. What are we talking about? Bro, it takes forever. Okay, I, haven't, I haven't hit him with this yet. I'm out of stamina, this is gonna hurt. Oh. Oh. Dude, you're still going? Man, I keep committing that third attack. Great. 
Okay, hold on. This is gonna hurt. Oh. The Elden Ring Breed? What the shit? That was close. Oh. Yeah, this place seems quite massive. I can't believe they voice acted everybody. It's safer. To I knew with the pestilence return, it wouldn't be long before you. We are all soldiers now. In the one true. Please allow me to enchant your weapon. Oh. Or you can. A black door was opened a thousand years. Yo, enchant infuse rune. What are we looking at? Gnarled staff. Yeah, so the <laughs> the items you pick up are extremely randomized, which I really like. Detail instructions uh, for how to craft a uh, sephira. Slot this rune into a weapon to gain the pulse of health rune spell. Slot this rune into a weapon to gain the heal aura. What? To gain the repair rune. Oh, the return rune. Okay, these are like, this stuff seems crazy. Okay, enchant. It costs a silver and I have no idea what it does. I have no information. Infuse. Dude, look at this. I can infuse my gems into the weapons and it makes them do extra elemental damage. This is sick. Okay. I have no other rune. Uh, this heat enchantable is like the sickest room I've ever seen. Okay, this is badass. Items weight decrease by 9 to 30%. Attacks deal 4 to 15% extra cold damage. Gain 3 to 10% health on kill. Electric damage? Dude, this is so sick. Item rarity. Common. Customizable with 4 gem slots. Rare. Enchantment and a gem slot. Plague, strong enchantments and a gem slot, but carries a negative enchantment. Unique, unique enchantments and a gem slot cannot be obtained by enchanting. Dude, this is sick. So they actually, they made common items still useful because you can put four gem slots in them. That is such a good idea. Enchant, transform common gear into rare or... I wish they would have given me this tooltip beforehand. <laughs> Look at this sick ice enchant on my sword, too. Oh, and they added an animation to it. Dude, this is this is so cool. City is too big, unreasonably big. I don't know if the city needed to be this large. The AI really seems to struggle with range. Which is a pretty big problem because this builds up fatigue. Pros, itemization. I think this is one of the best itemization systems I have seen since Diablo 2. The randomness of the stats on each weapon make everything exciting. Not to mention duplicates are always useful as it's another attempt at new rolls on any item you are using. Combat feels really smooth for the most part. You can really feel the impact of each attack and with so many interactions such as attacking, blocking, dodging, parrying, it feels very high paced and engaging. Attribute system. 
This is very similar to the Soul series, and it allows you to highly customize your character between a ton of different builds, giving the game a ton of replayability. Rune Abilities This is very similar to applying an Ash of War from Elden Ring to your weapon, basically giving your weapon 1 to 4 powerful abilities. Really new and interesting idea. Voice Acting Nearly every NPC, even the meaningless ones, wandering the town are voice acted and they seem very high quality. Cons AI vs Ranged as you saw in the last two clips, if you are on a different elevation than an enemy, you can shoot them with no repercussions. Even some bosses just stand there while you're sniping them. Character Design For a company that produced some of the best visuals I've ever seen in Ori and the Blind Forest, loading into the character customization screen and seeing these abominations was a little disappointing. City Size the main city is absolutely massive. I spent a large amount of time wandering around the city trying to get to points of interest or into the next zone. I really feel like this could be consolidated as right now it is so large it just makes the town feel like there are a lot of dead points. No boss response. The bosses have unique weapon drops that are really exciting, but if you kill a boss and don't get the drop, you either have to start a new realm and go through the story again, or you have to wait until the Crucible for a chance at a random boss weapon. I'd really like to see a way to respawn specific bosses so we can farm for the really cool unique weapons that they drop. No respecking. Currently if you invest a point, you are trapped. I assume this is an issue they are currently working towards, but if not it needs to be a high priority. No fast travel. Normally I'm very against fast travel in most games as I think it makes the world feel too small. That being said, this world is massive and extremely vertical. You commonly need to go back to areas you have visited before and it's a real pain traversing the climbing puzzles to get to an old area. I'd like to see a more free range fast travel like Elden Ring as I think it fits. Overall, I give this game an 8 out of 10 and with a couple of changes I really think it could bump up to a, a 9 or a 9.5. I don't know if this game is for everyone, but if you are a fan of Diablo 2 or Elden Ring, I really feel like this is the love child of both.